the work at 27%. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Now, your transport strategy has a target for 80% of journeys to be made by walking, cycling and public transport by 2041. And you've, in your opening answer, you've given quite a lot of examples of work you're doing. Now, at the end of 2022, you had achieved just over 60%, 62.3% of journeys by walking, cycling and public transport. That still leaves you with a big chunk to achieve to get to 80%. And you know you need to do it 10 years sooner than the 2041 original target if you're going to meet your 2030 targets. Now, TfL's own business plan says that they don't have enough investment to meet any of these targets. So we asked you back in January about the gap in the TfL business plan, and you said that TfL was looking into it. So briefly, do you now have a plan to fill the gap so that you can get to the 80% of journeys by walking, cycling and public transport? And if not, do you know when you're going to share it? Thanks for your question and for your assiduous uh, lobbying of this very important issue. So just to remind uh, you and colleagues, uh, the pandemic had an impact because lots of people were nervous going on public transport and started driving their cars again, which led to a dip in relation to that figure, which was 64%. Uh, it's gone down to 62%, as you said, post-pandemic. The recovery means more and more people are now getting confident in using public transport again, which they, they'd lost confidence in because of the jam-packed nature of public transport. Anybody who uses the, the tubes or the digital line will know how busy they are, so I'm confident they'll go back. The short answer is no. We've not yet got the capital investment we need to make the transformative changes that are required to encourage people more to use public uh, transport. Um, uh, this year, for the first time ever in TFL's history, we've got an operating budget surplus done by ourselves without any government support. We need support from the next government, whoever wins the election, in relation to capital investment to make sure we can invest sufficiently in public transport for it to be enticing people to use. I like your very strong target that most journeys should be made by walking, cycling and public transport, but I'm not hearing that radical plan and actions that you need to reach that target for all Londoners. If you're going to hit 80%, and if we're going to answer the climate crisis, Londoners, especially children, older and disabled people, need much stronger action. I would have expected to hear you talking about building the safe crossings that are missing at many junctions, expanding the TfL cycle network London-wide, and bringing in new bus networks to give people real and convenient options, particularly in outer London. Now, you've said already to Assembly Member Hall that you're not going to update your transport strategy. Surely you need TfL to do the detailed planning for how transport investment will change so that you hit those 2030 targets. So will we see more detail, and if so, when? Chair, I wish I brought my manifesto, to, to send a, but I'll send a copy to her so she can see our plans and the detail which is set out in the manifesto. I thought my answer was long enough as it was, but I, next time I'll, I'll do a longer answer uh, to set out some of the detail that you're, you're asking for. But to give you an example of uh, some of the stuff uh, that we're doing, the Superloop 2. I mean, Superloop 1 is leading to people not driving their cars and they're using the bus instead of uh, driving their That's uh, cars. That's great, but we need Superloop 3, 4, 5. Um, you know, you, you've got to have a plan and... Given yesterday's news, you're not going to be able to blame the government for much longer either. Anyway, I'm, I'm out of time. Thank you. Chair, I think, I think the, the Green Party predicted the results of the next general election.